Okay, so we were talking about beaters. So what do we got here? So we have uh, our uh, beaters here, the four types of beaters. Let's start with the most basic and the most uh, common beater you see on our pedals, which is the Marksman beater. It's pretty simple. It doesn't have any, any adjustments. It's very balanced. It's the, on the lightweight side uh, of, of our beaters, one of the lightest beaters that we offer. Its cousin is our wrecking ball, which is a couple of ounces heavier than our Marksman. Uh, and it's a little bit thicker, so uh, it would strike the drum a little bit sooner than our um, marksman. Mm -hmm. Our uh, third and one of the also the common ones that uh, go with lots of our pedals. Uh, in the past 10 years, all our pedals used to leave the factory with the sonic hammer. This is what we call these. This is the adjustable beater, which you can adjust the, where the beater hits the drum. And you can also adjust, if, adjust the actual strike head oh that's cool depending on how uh, how you set your your uh, kick drums like for uh, my, my i i like my kick drum extremely lifted so it, this adjustment would re make it better for me to to strike it on a flat angle and not punk not to puncture my uh, my head the last but not least of our beaters is our signature beater this is a george Colias model it's a, a little bit similar to our variable drive lever the, the main difference is there's no adjustment go, to go closer or further from the head. And it has the same beater head, mm -hmm. the same adjustability, uh, options of uh, adjusting your, uh, your beater head to, to the angle, right? To the angle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Let me see this thing. Yeah. Well, it's got some weight to it, huh? Yeah. This is my favorite, actually, personally. Yeah. I, I, I like those. They, they, they feel just right because, because I like to feel the weight of the beater a little bit for, for the balance. It just helps me get in sync with my pedal. You can do some damage with this thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's why it's called the wrecking ball. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, with a, obviously with a good impact pad, you shouldn't have any problem, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. All right. Yeah. All right. Nice. Well, it's nice to have options like that. Of course, of course. You 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 need to to make sure everybody has what works for them. And we always uh, we owe all of this to our artists that helped us throughout the years with their feedback, calling us and 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 giving us some guidance. Because for the longest time ever, this this company ha didn't have a working drummer. Mm. Uh, working with the company right for a longer for the longest time ever everybody that was working here was not using the instrument right they wasn't using the tool they were building them they were making them they were they were doing all of those things but nobody actually can actually sit and play and, and know how to feel for like an actual working drummer it was always up to our artists which which take the product on the road and road test it and give us the feedback and and that's how we got it to the point that we are right now that's cool. Yeah. So now uh, you, you guys are kind of a custom shop. And, and, and when I say custom shop, I mean, obviously, you've got all these options. Yes. Uh, and you can swap out any footboard with any model, you beater, all this stuff. And you make them to order as opposed to mass producing them. Yes. So it may take a little longer to get your pedal, but it's, it's going to be made for you. Is that right? Yes, sir. It, takes, it might take even a lot longer. But uh, we, we are, do not have a stock. We, we do not uh, have a warehouse. Mm -hmm. We make every single pedal to order. Whenever we get the order in, we go get the parts, we assemble them, and we make sure that they're built to the liking of the customer or the artist. And also, you have so many options now, like especially from 2020 until now, is uh, which which allows the customer to include a note on the order saying, hey, please, can you just uh, switch my uh, silver footboard with a black one? Or please, can I have half the p pedal in black, half in silver? Or can I just do this with that? And, and we've been able to facilitate a lot of that. And, uh, and people are liking that because mm. it, it's, uh, those pedals are not also cheap. So, so if you get it customizable, it's, it's something that you buy probably once, twice a year, unless you're a working drummer all the time. This way, you, you might need to get uh, your, your gear you know, refreshed uh, more often. You said once or twice a year. Yeah, like for, uh, for, for our artists, the working drummers, like you're, taking, you're saying like 150 to 200, uh, even more shows a year. 
uh, they need to send their pedals in probably every six months yeah. to be looked at because we, because they it's if you use them every night you pack them you throw them in the van you ever it's it's just bound to happen you know like especially yeah. if you don't have a drum tech that that takes a look at your gear before you go on stage and makes so uh, that's the major difference that I did for our artists here which I'm very proud of uh, that I, I just started last year uh, our artists here get get taken care of like whenever they have any issues with the pedals they just send the pedals in no questions asked they 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 come in here to play uh, to play at uh, any place in Los Angeles. I will grab a few spare parts, go to backstage, make sure that their pedal is working right. If you need anything switched, I can just do this right on the spot be, be, before they get on stage or after they get on stage. We we just want to make sure they they get taken care of the most. Uh, because uh, like they do carry our brand and they do promote our brand and they are the, the main reason like I heard about Access Percussion because of George Cordius and Derek Crowley. Right. I saw their videos. That's what I was able to see. You know, sure. I tell you where I was raised. It's in the Middle East. It's in the darkness. Yeah. So I saw the videos and I was like. I love this. I want this. Yeah, it's like, yeah, what's this about? Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, and an, an artist rep that actually plays drums. What a concept, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. 